Well, today's a big day. I'm going to be replacing my Western Digital 5400 RPM hard drive, which is a 250 gig hard drive, with a Samsung 850 Evo 500 gigabyte SSD drive. Now, I'll be installing this on my HP 8540W laptop, which has a 3 gigabyte per second SATA interface, so it won't be able to take advantage of the 6 gigabyte per second, but it's still going to be loads faster than the hard drive I have now. So first, let's check out the Windows load time on the current hard disk installation. So that puts it at 58 seconds, and some of the Windows modules were still really loading. Samsung makes it pretty easy to do the migration. They give you all the software you need to clone. I chose to clone because it's a fairly new install. You might want to choose to do a fresh install, but this is definitely the easier way. I also had to purchase this Apricorn USB 3 to SATA cable to connect the SSD drive with my laptop to do the cloning hard disk image was just shy of 120 gig and it took about 45 minutes to complete the cloning. Now before I show you how I installed the SSD drive, here's a few things you need to consider. We're going to install a Samsung 500 gigabyte Evo 850 SSD drive into this HP 8540W Elite Book laptop just to give it some speed. Uh, installing should be pretty simple. We're just going to remove some screw some screws here and get on with it. So let's take off the hardware or the hard sorry the hard drive bay here cover, making sure not to lose the screws. Well, let's just unscrew them, unscrew them all, and we'll keep them in the cover. Make, do it that way. Notice I have it unplugged and the battery out, just to make sure there's no shock. And I did consult a manual on how to do this, so and we're going to leave these screws in the plate. Just leave it like that, so we're not going to lose them. There they are. Here's your hard drive. Okay. First thing we want to do is remove this screw right here. It's a uh, Phillips, so we're just going to remove this. Okay. Actually, I guess it stays, maybe it stays in. Yeah, it looks like it stays in. So then we're going to lift this out. Actually, we could use this to lift it and unseat it from the SATA connector. Boom. Real easy. We're going to have to put this into this enclosure, right? So that's the next step. So we will need this screw. Just leave it in there. But I'm going to take off these, these screws here. And then I want to have make sure this is oriented the same way, right? So it's going to be like that, right? It's going to go in like this. So first thing we'll do is let's remove these. Again, I'm doing this all with the same Phillips. I don't want to strip it, but it's pretty tight. I broke the seal on that one. Yeah, that one's broken. That one's broken. This one's a tough one. For whatever reason, but we'll get it. Just go slow and we'll get it. There we go. Oh, I'm very afraid of stripping that. Okay, so we got to be careful of this. Let's see if we can get that going. We strip that, we're dead. Strip it, we're dead. So we're going to go real slow. Can't be easy, right? 
There we go. Boom, we got it. Nice. Whew. Man, those are supposed to have a Loctite on them or something. So we're going to just put these aside here. Okay, make sure we put them back in the same holes that they were in. Just a good practice. Okay. Sorry, I hit the camera there, I think. Pretty simple so far. No damages. Boom. Now this old drive should come right out of this little thing. And I'm going to keep this because this is a full image of my, my laptop. Okay, so I'm going to keep that. It's a Scorpion WD, Scorpion Blue. So we'll keep that. But now we're going to install the new Evo. So we're just going to basically put this in the same enclosure. Make sure the screws are all lined up. Once they're lined up, we'll just put it down here. And we will start to install the screws. Okay, just, just enough torque to keep them in there. We don't have to go crazy. This thing stays in one place. I don't travel with it or anything, so... Okay. So far, so good. Everything fits. Yeah, definitely I can see the green Loctite on there. So. And the last one in. That's secure. You know, if, you, if you didn't notice, it has this little plastic flap to help you seat the drive. So now that's in there good, right? We don't have to worry about it coming out. Well, these are just make sure these are good and have enough torque on them, and I think they do. So it's a pretty easy installation. Now, the tricky part, we're going to install it in the SATA connection. It should line up pretty easily. You just use this to put it in there and push it forward. And it slipped right in nicely. And then we just honk down this screw here. And we know it's seated right. Because that screw went in. And we're set to go. That's that. And then we put this cover back on all right so there's this little lip here you got to go here first like this so angle it to the left hit those little notches and then just drop it in like that and then screw it down and that's how you install a new ssd drive on an hp 8540w laptop that's it pretty easy and here's the first cold startup of windows using the new ssd drive So before the SSD, it booted up in about a minute. So basically it takes about a third of the time with the SSD drive. As you can see from these benchmarks, I'm a little under a half of the max performance, which makes sense because the SATA is rated at three gigabytes per second rather than six. Here's a before and after of the Windows Performance Index. And that's how you install an SSD drive on an HP 8540W laptop. I have a video in the works of how this new SSD drive will affect the performance of Train Simulator 2016, so stay tuned for that. Happy to hear your comments. Please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a great day.